Hi, and welcome to this section of the Unit Conversion Tutor. And in this section, we're going to kind of break from everything that we've done before, and we're going to talk about the units associated with mass and weight, okay? <clears throat> really, and for all practical purposes, you can sort of think of mass and weight as being the same thing in, in terms of this lecture here, in terms of these problems that we're going to work. But if you want to get really technical about it, mass of something, here's a little lecture in physics for you, the mass of something really is just telling you how much atoms, really, that you have, how many atoms. Uh, that you have in present in, in the thing. It has nothing to do with how heavy it feels. It's just how much mass you have, how much dirt or how much clay or whatever it is, how many particles are in there, okay? Uh, weight is physically how much it pulls on your hand, okay? In terms of how much force it pulls down on a scale or something. So usually those two things really mean the same thing when we're talking about something sitting here on the Earth's surface because we're always in, in the gravity field of Earth, right? So if I have a certain mass, and I pass it around to different people on the planet who all put it on a scale and we're all sitting in the same gravity field, then of course it's going to pull with the same amount. But if I take that mass to the moon, the weight of that object is going to actually weigh differently than it does here on the earth. So I could take the same mass, and for instance me, and I go to the moon, I'm going to weigh one-sixth what I actually weigh here. So the weight and the mass are going to actually be different um, compared to what they would be on the earth. The weight would be different from what it would be compared to a scale on the Earth. So when you're talking about weight, usually you're just talking about how much it pulls on the scale. What's the actual force gravity is acting on that thing, okay? And mass is just simply a measure of the intrinsic, you know, how many particles are in that thing. But for practical purposes, because we're always on the planet Earth, you can kind of think of mass and weight, kind of use them loosely interchangeably, okay? I just wanted to give you the, the big picture so that you kind of knew what we're talking about here, okay? Um, let me show you really quickly in the... US or the UK system